Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In the previous uh, videos related to elementary signals, we discussed about the unit step signal and the unit ramp signal functions. So in this video, we are going to discuss the third elementary signal function, which is the unit parabolic function in both continuous time and discrete time domain okay so by the term parabolic you can make out that it has got something to do with parabola okay the shape of this function must resemble that of a parabola yes it is so let us first draw the parabolic function okay and then we will discuss the continuous time discrete time functional representations okay again like all other elementary signals it exists only for positive time that is for t greater than 0 okay and this is the parabolic function pt so the shape of the parabolic function is something like this okay now the parabolic function it is represented in the functional representation of the parabolic function is this it is t square by 2 for time greater than or equal to 0 that is that means for positive time and it is 0 for negative time so for t lesser than 0 the value is 0 okay this is the unit parabolic function now if you can uh, just uh, make out by looking at this signal if you can notice a pattern it is that if we differentiate the unit parabolic function d p t by d t we will get d by d t of t square by 2 which is equal to 2 t by 2 2 2 will get cancelled which will be t which is nothing but the unit ramp signal the unit ramp function so here is one important conclusion which is that the derivative of the unit parabolic function is equal to the ramp function okay this is one conclusion the first conclusion so conversely we can say that the parabolic function okay the parabolic function is the integration of the unit ramp function this is also true means just the converse statement now if we again di differentiate this okay d square double derivative of the unit parabolic function d square pt by dt square which is d by dt of t okay first derivative is equal to the ramp so it is d by dt of t which will be equal to 1 which is nothing but the unit step function so this gives us the second conclusion which is that the double derivative of the unit parabolic function gives us the unit step function 
okay this is the second conclusion so these are the two important conclusions to draw from the unit parabolic function the deri first derivative of the first order derivative of the unit parabolic function gives us the unit ramp function the second order derivative of the uh, unit parabolic function gives us the unit step function okay now this is the continuous time domain analysis of the unit parabolic function okay let me erase these things this is the continuous time domain representation of the unit parabolic signal okay continuous time that's why signal suppose we have to convert it into discrete time sequence again we have to take samples of the unit parabolic signal the continuous time unit parabolic signal we have to take the samples at specific equidistant points okay called as the sampling instance following the sampling theorem which is the nyquist sampling theorem which states that the sampling frequency must be greater than equal to twice of the maximum signal frequency let the sampling uh, instance be again 2 4 6 and 8 so the discrete time sequence representation of the unit parabolic sequence will look something like this It will look something like this. So, P t will get replaced by P n, the discrete time sequence representation and the continuous time will get replaced by n. Okay. So, this is the discrete time representation of the unit parabolic sequence. P t got replaced by P n, t got replaced by n. Okay, the sampling instance 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on. Now, if we try to represent it in functional representation, it will be P n which will be equal to n square by 2 for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n lesser than 0 okay no difference just replace the continuous time t with discrete time n no change t got replaced by n everything else is the same okay now another important thing is that you can also represent the unit parabolic function just like we did with the unit ramp function in terms of unit step function okay we can write p t as t square by 2 u t for t greater than equal to 0 and 0 for t lesser than 0 it makes no difference because u t has a constant unity magnitude for positive time so when t square by 2 is multiplied with 1 it remains the same so in some books you will find the expression like this in some books you will find it like this so both are correct you can represent it in either way and this one p n can be represented as n square by 2 u n for n greater than equal to 0 and 0 for n lesser than 0 here also u n is 1 Okay, constant value 1 for positive time means at the specific uh, sampling instance and 0 for negative uh, discrete time. So, it makes no difference n square by 2 into u n is equal to n square by 2 into 1 which is equal to n square by 2. So, both the statements, both the representations are correct. Okay, so, this is the continuous time 
analysis of the unit parabolic signal and the discrete time analysis of the unit parabolic sequence okay and if their respective functional representation in both the uh, discrete time and continuous time domains so this is the third elementary signal which we have analyzed and uh, the important thing is to remember the relationship between the step function ramp function and parabolic function the integration and derivative relationships okay which we just uh, derived here so this is all about the unit parabolic function we have around more uh, five to six elementary signals to cover so we'll cover them so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much